Good morning. This morning we're going to draw the 3D model of the legs for our cherry bedside table. And I'm going to start with the 2D drawing that we completed last week. And just to show you it really is 2D, I'll uh, choose the right tool here. Notice it's a 2D drawing. I'm looking at it front on. And by the way, when I do this, I always use parallel projection when I'm modeling. I can always, at a later date when the model's completed and I want, I want to create ice, uh, perspective views, I can always switch to perspective. But when I'm modeling, I use parallel projection because I want to see all my lines parallel um, or at right angles when they are right angles and parallel. So I'm looking at this front on, parallel projection. And with that, I could start copying um, the leg from this 2D drawing. What I'll do is I'll start with the tape measure tool, grab this edge, create a line parallel to it along the red axis, come down to the bottom. Well, let me see, let me just view the axis here. And I'll create a line parallel to the red axis. That's what we'll do. And I also want to create a line parallel to the top of the leg. The leg is two inches wide. So I'll come over here. create a parallel line two inches away from the one that I've got already. And that's roughly the outline of my leg, at least in two dimensions. The other thing I want to do is uh, create another parallel line right at this point here, which is four inches up. That's where that curve starts in the leg. It might be interesting to create a line. One and eleven thirty seconds from the leg, just to get that outline of that shape. So I'll come over here, hit escape, come over. One and eleven thirty seconds. And this is going to be that curve. All right, with that, let's start drawing things in. I'm only going to come down to here. And now I can get rid of some of these guidelines. I won't get rid of all of them right at the moment because I want this rectangle right here. And so the next question is how are we going to draw this rectangle? There's a couple of ways we can do it. One is to use the Bezier tool, which is right over here on the right. And another is to try to use the arc tool. The Bezier tool has nice editing features. The arc tool, not so much. So I'm going to try the Bezier tool first. The first thing I have to do is kind of freehand this shape in here with a number of construction points. And so I'll start with the construction point tool and I'll use the one from my Construction Plus toolbar and see if I can just pepper in some tools here. I 
I've got this picture, this visual picture in my head of what this curve might look like. And now I'm going to use the Bezier tool. Uh, I guess I'm going to use the cubic Bezier curve and see if I can get the curve I want here. I'll start here at the end point. Come down to that point. Next point. making sure I'm on the guide points. I wait for that tool tip that says guide point. And when I'm down here, I click the last point. I say done and exit tool. And now I have the outline of my leg. And I'm going to examine it real close to see if I'm happy with it. And actually that come out pretty good. I'm going to actually use the 2D drawing like this and print it out full scale as a template for the workshop. And I'll just trace this curve on the leg in the workshop and I'll cut it on the bandsaw and then use a uh, an oscillating sander to smooth it out. So if it's a little off, not a big deal. But this looks pretty good. I like it. So I'm going to stick with it. At this point I'll get rid of all the guides. I'm going to do that with the eraser tool because I don't want to use delete guides. That'll delete guidelines that I have on other layers in this drawing and I don't want to get rid of them. I only want to get rid of these that I have here. And I can select these guide points by just going from right to left with the select tool making sure I don't select anything in its entirety except these guide points and notice now I've only selected the guide points and I can hit delete. Okay now that I have that I'm going to do a couple of things. One is for the moment I'm going to make it uh, well what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude it both front and back. Let me do that first and so I'll go to the ISO view here I'll extrude it forward some amount and orbit around to the back and extrude it back some amount. And for the moment I'll make it a group. It's one of the very very few times I will ever use a group but it's only a temporary operation. And I'll just make this a group. I don't care what it's called. And what I want to do is I want to copy it so I'll select it. I'm going to rotate it and copy it. And the easy way to do that is with the rotate tool with the control key pressed so I get the plus sign. I'll go to the center of this. Come out along the green. Rotate it 90 degrees. Now what that's going to do, so I'm going to now use the intersect faces with selection tool and I'm going to end up with this leg that'll have curves on the inside. Let's see if that works. First I have to explode this and explode this. Select everything. Edit. intersect faces with selection and with a little luck we've got it. Now I'm going to look at this from the side view and by using the select tool in the right to left manner whoops, in the right to left manner anything that's partially selected in the box will be selected so that way I can get rid of everything on the side here and I don't have to go over and get real close to this edge and select some things I don't want to. So I'll select that. I'll come over here like that. Now, 
This time I'm going to look at it front view. And again use the same technique. Right to left selection box. And again right to left selection box. Being careful not to get any of my 2D drawing over there on the left. Alright, now with that, let's go to the ISO view. Notice I have a leg. It is curved on the inside here and also curved on the inside there, but not on the outside edges. That's the leg I want. So, what I'm going to do right now, make it a component. I'm going to call it leg. Later on I may change it to front leg and also have back legs which will be different. But for now all the legs are going to look the same. So I'll just create a component here called leg. The other thing I want to do is put the chamfers in the leg. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to create a component that I'll call mold. M-O-L-D or something like that. Um, and cut out the chamfers. So here's how we're going to do it. Let's create a line parallel to this one. And let's see where we want these chamfers to be. Let's look at the front view. If I look at the dresser and take my dimensions from that, we'll start the chamfers two inches down from the top of the leg. So let's try that. And we're going to end the chamfers oh let's let's I think from the dresser it comes six and a half inches up from the bottom. Let's try that. Okay, that looks pretty good. That says the chamfers, if I look over here on this drawing, that says the chamfers will start about here, end about here, and that looks pretty good. So let me go with that. Now I have a minor problem. This, this line doesn't go through here, and I'm not sure why, but in order to fix that, I'm going to erase it. I'm going to start right there and go six and a half up. Okay. Now it's sitting on the surface of the leg. All right, so that's the beginning of the uh, chamfer. Now the chamfers are going to be made with a quarter inch radius cutting bit. So I'll draw a line parallel to this, one quarter of an inch. and bring this down a quarter of an inch. Bring this up a quarter of an inch. All right, now what I want is a circle with a radius of one quarter inch right there. Another circle with a radius of a quarter inch. Right there. I'll connect this point. To this point. And this point. To this point. Now I want to get rid of what I don't want here, which is this semicircle and this. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to ISO view, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, ISO view. I'm going to extend this 
Those radiuses aren't looking quite like what I wanted them to, but we'll see. Extend this back. Let's see what we have here. Good. All right, now I'll get rid of my construction lines. I'm going to select all of this and rotate it 45 degrees. And now I'll make a component and call it mold. All right, now remember I wanted this to start two and a half inches down from the top. So I'll place my construction point two inches down. I'm going to take the center of this right there. Place it over the guide point. I'm going to explode this. And explode the leg for the moment. select everything and do edit intersect faces with selection let's see what we have here I'll start erasing things first of all I'm going to erase this right here I'll erase this out here I want to be very careful I don't erase the wrong things. Let's just look at this from the front for the moment. See if we like it. That looks pretty good. Okay, we got a minor problem here. First of all, we'll hide this line. And we'll hide this one down here. and we'll reverse these faces and lastly we'll select um, I gotta have to be careful I'm gonna go to isometric view and select just that construction point and that construction point that wasn't good let's do that again there we go all right now 
I'm not gonna make this a, a, a leg because I have to bring in my, I have to create this curve in the other two edges. So no sense making a leg, I'm only gonna explode it again anyway. So I'll go to my components box and bring the mold back in. Now I want to rotate this oh, 90 degrees and then I'll get the back of the leg and I'll do the same thing for the front. Well first of all let me select it and let's take the rotate tool and I can just click the rotate tool here. I want to rotate this 90 degrees. And while I'm at it, I'm going to copy it. And this one I'm going to um, rotate again, only this time 180 degrees. All right, I'll take my I'll come down two inches, take the middle of this Go to the intersection there. I'm going to do a similar thing over here. I'm going to go around back. Let me see. I want to make sure I get the right ones. Let me go to the front view and see if I'm getting the right one. Yes. I want to go to this side over here. Come down two inches. didn't feel right. Okay. I'm going to come over and grab this at its center. There we go. All right. Now that feels right. I'll explode that. Explode that. Select everything. Intersect faces with selection. And now I can start erasing things.
All right, and again, we have to hide this line. Reverse faces. Okay. All right. Now, let's just get rid of our... All right, now we can make this a leg again. And of course, when we do, it's going to complain that we already have a leg. But I'm going to say, replace it. There we go. Okay, now let's put four of them in place. A uh, little concerned that that's not on the uh, origin or on the red axis. I'm not sure why that is. Let's see if I can move it onto the red axis. Not that it really matters. I'm going to make some There we go. All right, now I can get rid of those uh, lines. I just wanted it referenced to the axis uh, in case I ever had to go back here and pick lines up again. Okay. Let's uh let's put some more legs in place. From outside to outside, these legs are eighteen inches. So we're going to copy this leg and we're going to use the control key to do that. I'm going to move it 18 and I'm going to flip along red because I moved it along the red axis. Now let's see if I still have 18 inches between them. And I have 20, so I have to move it back in two inches. And I should have known that. There we go. And I'll check it one more time. There's nothing worse than getting a long way down the road in a model and um, having things the wrong dimension. All right. Now let's look at our top view budget. From there we can tell 
how far back the legs are supposed to be placed. Let's just, um, this is the front of the leg right here. And that's the back of the leg, also 18 inches. And the reason it's square, by the way, is because we had to design this thing to go around a grate, a heating grate. Let's get rid of that. Let's go to the front in ISO view. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to copy one leg back, and I'll show you why in a moment. And it's going to be this one. I'm going to use the control key here. Whoops, wrong tool. Let's get this right. Move. Move, copy. I'm going to move it back. Uh, let's call it 16. And let's see if I got it right. Eighteen inches. That's what we want. All right. And since I moved it back along the green, I'm going to flip it along green. Let's see if I can do that. And let's see if I've got it right. I do. All the curves are pointing inward. All right, now what I'm going to do is make this leg unique. And I'm going to rename it. Instead of leg number one, I'm going to call it back leg. And by the way, I'm going to change the name of these legs to front leg. And since the one I got selected is the left front leg, I'll give it a unique name of left front leg. And I'll call this one right front leg. And this one I'll call left back leg. And now that I've got this one uh, made unique, I'll copy it over 16 inches. Flip it along red since I moved it along red. And now let's just check things. If I t create a rectangle on the top, it should be 18 by 18. And sure enough, if I look down in the VCB, it's 18 by 18. So I've got my legs properly placed. I need to name this leg, give this leg a unique name. Since I copied it from this one, it's got the name left back leg, but it should be the right back leg. There 
There we go. And one of the things I can do right now is uh, bring in the outliner. And notice what I have. I have a left back leg, it's a back leg component. I have a left front leg, it's a front leg component. A right back leg, and it's back leg component. A right front leg, and it's a front leg component. So my naming's correct. What I want to do is put them on a unique uh, layer called legs. So I'll bring the uh, layer in here. I'm going to have to bring my tool down here. Layers tool. And I'm going to make a hidden layer and call it legs. This tool, by the way, is one of my uh, tools that I've written. You can get it from my, from my um, blog or website. And what I've just done is I've added a, a layer called legs. I'm going to select all four legs and place them on there. Put them on the legs layer. And now if I choose the legs layer, I have it. Okay. That ends today's installment in this uh, drawing this model. So I'll see you in a week. And what we'll do is we'll start to put the sides on and uh, the rails. Okay, see you next week. Bye.